the cable industry has to invest a lot to upgrade our networks, but that's partly done already. And therefore, in broadband access, uh, we have a really stronghold in Europe. You know, we can offer already 100 megabytes for the customer. Uh, in some areas, already 500 meg. So we are ahead of other forms of broadband access, mm -hmm. and uh, that's something which the consumer likes because it offers high quality for all these new services, for all the new content which is coming uh, to the market and streaming and others. The, the main challenges of the cable industry are many, many, uh, like in most of the industries. But let's let's try to identify a few of them. I think that convergence is a big challenge mm -hmm. because uh, now customers don't want to have fixed and mobile. They want to have everything in mobility. So what we have to do, I think, in cable is to provide what we always did, which is a triple play product, but everywhere. Mm -hmm. And this is a big challenge. And it's a big challenge because you have to learn new customer habits. And also it's a big challenge because it requires more capex, mm -hmm. more money, and more investment. So I will highlight that, and that's a big one. Uh, so let's start, stop there. We have many others, but many more are already uh, ones where we have already more experience. This is a new one. So therefore, we have to hurry up and learn a lot about that. Well, the main challenges in our industry are to maintain uh, our growth, uh, to find sustainable growth in an increasingly uh, complex competitive environment, an increasingly complex regulatory environment. Um, you know, we've had a pretty good run over the last decade uh, building our business on the back of demand for broadband, but now um, we're obviously seeing competition uh, from the incumbent phone companies. Uh, but also on the entertainment side from the over-the-top providers. So we're probably in the most competitive environment we've been in for a long time. And, um, you know, we really need to keep our businesses growing so that we can continue to invest for the future. I think the main challenges in our industry today are for customers to understand all these fantastic technological innovations that we have. How do you make it relevant for customers? Because sometimes we're very geeky. So we have to make it relevant for the consumers so that they see the benefit and really enjoy the products more than a technical innovation. Uh, in our industry today, I think the main challenge is to stay relevant. This is the age of media convergence, this is the age of OTT, this is the age of uh, broadband uh, speeds on a uh, totally new level. We need to stay relevant uh, to the society. Well, the main challenges in our industry are keeping up with this ever-changing consumer, knowing where to make the bet on capital. It's still a marketplace that requires enormous capital to make these companies successful and satisfy consumer needs. And so you have to make the right bets. You know, many of our big companies who are on the content side um, are faced with changing consumer demand. What shows do people want to watch? Oh, I want to watch a cooking show. Oh, no, I'm tired of cooking shows. I want to watch sports. There's so many things that they have to bring to the marketplace. But it's also true on the cable side. You know, they are transitioning from being hardware companies to becoming software companies so that they can change on a dime as consumer demand changes. And so I think those are the kinds of things that all of our members are thinking about as they try to bring value to customers. Uh, for me and for our company as I see it, some of the challenges that we have is building our brands, making sure our consumers want to find our content everywhere that they can. Mm -hmm. We talk about disaggregation, we talk about new platforms where content can be found, and we support that. We support the paid TV ecosystem, we support mm -hmm. new ways for consumers to find it, but if we don't continue to build confidence with consumers that they want to see what we offer, we could get lost in the mix of thousands of places and ways to find content. Okay, so what are the main challenges in our industry today? Well, that's, I mean, there are many challenges, of course, but I think one of the key ones and why CTAM is so interesting is it's about how do we uh, constantly look after our customers and give them an experience which they can't get anywhere else. And that means great content, it means easy to access content, it means uh, great user interfaces and electronic program guides and the ability to find the content. And this is where we as the platform focus a lot, which is how to find that content which is, uh, which is on the TV screen, which is on the iPad, which is uh, available online. 
So the main challenges in our industry really, um, you know, are there's a few of them. Number one, we have strong competition from telcos, so we have to stay, I think, very competitive and continue to innovate uh, consistently to, to improve broadband speeds and change our video model. Um, you know, we've got regulatory pressure. Regulators have to see the cable industry as being, uh, you know, what it is, driving change in broadband, driving speeds in broadband, and uh, it's not always the case. National regulators don't always appreciate what we do. Uh, we got to keep the best people in our business. You know, we have to have. We have 36,000 employees, and we think they're the best in the business. And this industry has to continue to attract young people who see it as an exciting and fun place to work. Mm -hmm. So those are few. We're in an environment where there's intense competition, mm -hmm. and for us, uh, growth needs to be achieved by being more and more innovative, as mm -hmm. well as investing in the customer experience. Mm -hmm. I think the main challenges in our industry today are the emergence of very advanced digital technologies, meaning that the conventional way we used to do business is now challenged by a lot of different ways that robust content offerings can get into one's house on demand, over the top, through anywhere or everywhere devices. So we're all coming to grips with that to make sure that we could retain and sustain the ecosystem that's been created over the years and allow consumers to continue to enjoy the convenience of the new digital technologies mm -hmm. that they promised to bring.